Welcome to Lamina Nails. In this video, I'll be showing you how I fix a broken nail and one that has pulled up slightly. So all my nails are natural except for two of them. In this video, you will see my pinky and my uh, middle finger on my right hand. I ended up um, somehow breaking off my pinky nail at like a really weird angle, so I had to leave it without anything on it for a couple days. I have these nails from AliExpress. They're the only ones I could find that are small enough to fit on my pinky. And I'll be using Model 1's uh, nail glue. It's a set. It's the dehydrator and the nail glue. Then I'm using Born Pretty Reinforcement Gel to rebuild the part that's pulled off of my middle finger. And Model 1's base coat and top coat. So here you can see the middle finger that's built up. And this was half fake nail because um, my nail's crooked. I have a scar underneath it and it just doesn't grow right. So I dehydrated it and now I'm applying a thin layer of the nail glue just where the nail lifted. So not all over, just where it lifted. And you can see that there I still need to do some filing, that's why there's a little green left over on it. But it's just, um, I'm just getting the bottom filled in so I can file the rest of it. Then I apply the base coat on top of that gel glue. And when I'm doing this, I'm not applying it over the entire nail. I'm just focusing on the peeled off part. And then I go in with this Born Pretty, which is a reinforcement gel, but it's basically a builder in a bottle. It's a very thick gel. You can see how thick it is here. I have to sort of like play with it to get it to ball up enough to apply to my nail. And what I do here is, once again, just apply it in that area. And I sort of like wobble it into place, sort of shake it and... I don't know what this movement is, but it's basically like a little wiggle and a press to fill in where I need it to fill in. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to file it again. So if you're doing this, remember like if you're going to file it after, it doesn't necessarily have to be smooth. But since there was a, a pretty big dip here, I did go in and sort of fill it in a little more. And then pop that into the lamp. So we're done with the building up. I'm going to remove the sticky layer with some um, isopropyl alcohol and a wipe. And then we're going to file it into shape. And I'm right handed so um, it's sort of hard to file with my left hand. Which is why I keep changing angles and... Basically, I hold the file still with my left hand and move my right hand. So there you can see I'm getting the shape almost perfect. It looks almost right. I do go through and file it one more time before I finish everything. I pinch the tip to make these narrow because sometimes they flare out a little bit. But basically, it's finished here. Now we're going to dehydrate the pinky. And then I'm going to apply the, or prep the nail for application. This is the smallest one that comes in this little nail kit from AliExpress. It's already pre-filed um, on the inside, but I do like to rough it up a little bit to make sure it sticks well. And then I go around the edge of it to thin it out so that it's almost like as thin as possible so there's no bump when I apply it to the nail. Of course there, there will be a little bump but you know it makes the filing process a little easier. So I'm using the, the thin side of the um, nail file. The I can't think of the word right now but the finer grit that's what it is. I'm using the finer grit to, to smooth and thin the sides. So for the nail glue, I apply it a little bit on my nail, just in the area I want the nail to attach to. 
don't pay attention to that little black thing on the brush. It gets on my nail, but I wipe it off. Um, and then I apply a little bit on the, the tip. The little black things on the brush are from the nail glue bottle. So here I'm seeing if it's enough glue. And I do remove that little black bit, so don't worry. The For some reason, model ones, the black around the, the top likes to peel off. So if you get model ones, just clean off the the rim of the the bottle, like whenever you use it, because it will get little black things inside. So here I'm going, try to align it and get it in the camera. It goes a little crooked. It's perfectly fine. You can always straighten out a crooked nail. It's it's okay. So I straighten this out or I cut it off to, to the right length, cut the sides to get it at the right angle to match my other hand, and then I start filing. Match it up, line it up, and measure it. You can see here measuring it, making sure it's at the, the right um, like you know, length and size. So here's the base coat. I'm going to apply it over the top of this. And this is normally what I do to, to sort of smooth it out. I do that same little wiggle push thing at the bottom to fill in the gap that's normally there from the extended nail. Then I wipe it off and make it flush with my nail so you can't see that it's fake. Once again, filing like the edges, the top, getting it into the right shape, the shape that's similar to my other hand, and then buffing the top of it. I'm using the, the finer grit again. I think this is 100 or 120, 180. I can't remember what this file is. But the finer grit on it, and you can see here, I've gotten it smooth in shape. It's, it's entirely buffed where it needs to be and, and it's just like blending in as well as it can. And then I pinch once again to get that, that thinness, the narrowness that I need. My nails are actually very, very, very small. So it, any extension on them is incredibly bulky. Then of course to final, finalize this, to finish it all off, Go over with my model ones, the one that I use for all my other nails, and um, two coats of the, the gel polish. I don't know what number this is. I can't think. I think it's one one something two nine or something, but I can't find it anywhere. It's my favorite um, color, my favorite gel polish like of all time. But that's basically how I fix one that's lifted, and one that is just completely broken off. I think it comes out nice. You can't really tell that it's not um, my nail, really. Um, I The scar underneath my middle finger just it makes my nail curve down when it gets to a certain length. So when it's shorter, you can't tell there's a scar under it at all. Like, it's completely fine. But once it gets, like, double the length of my nail bed, it's very, very obvious. So here I'm using the Model One's top coat. And this is a nice top coat. It, it really self-levels well when I do my own nails and my mom's nails. This is the one that I use. I don't use um, the beetles as much as I used to unless I'm bulking up my nails. So that's it. That's the, the video. You can see underneath, you can see on top. It looks like the other hand. It's almost flawless. Not quite, but close enough. And I hope this was useful. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.